Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Swift tutorial. And one of my viewers has asked me to show you guys how to make a iOS calendar-like sort of screen. So I'm gonna have to split this into two parts since we're gonna have to import two CocoaPods, QVR Week View and FS Calendar. So this first part will be building UI and um, not really building UI, but I'm just gonna be importing the two CocoaPods and then just setting them up. But we aren't gonna be changing how they look in this uh, part. So I think we might have two or three parts, it depends. So um, I'll just call this iOS calendar demo. And as of all uh, CocoaPod sort of things, we have to create the Xcode project. Then we close this, we go to terminal, and I just need to locate uh, where I've saved it. So it's in Xcode, YouTube, and then I think I saved it as iOS calendar demo. Oh, uh, let me see. Think, oh, okay, I think it's case sensitive. So, uh, CD documents slash Xcode slash YouTube. And, huh? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm spelling documents wrong, that's why. Documents slash Xcode slash YouTube. Alright, and I'll CD uh, iOS calendar demo. Right, we're in. Now I create the pod file. Uh, open that pod file. Uh, and then, like, this bit isn't really that important because I already made videos on how to do this for both. Um, that doesn't even matter. I'll just open it from here. Uh, uh, I'll just leave that there. And now, what I can do is I can just add my two pods. So, the pods we're going to be using are pod. QVR week view and we are also going to be using FS calendar. Alright, save that, close that, and we we'll just install these now. Alright, that was quite easy. Now we can finally open this and this is actually where we want to uh, get it. Oh, why is it come over here? I'll just do this and move this over here. Right, cool. So now uh, I'll make this full screen. I think there's a few issues, but we can just fix those quite easily. Uh, I'll just make this full screen real quick. And let's see what the issues are. Yep, validate. We can perform those changes. And now I can just create our basic outline. So I'm going to drag two UI views in. Um, so this top one will be our FS calendar and I'll give this 000, zero and then the height can be uh, 100 and then this bottom one will be our QVR week view and this can just be 000, zero, zero, zero. right now I can set our actual uh, views FS calendar and QVR oh I think it's just week view then QVR week view there Alright, so now I'm going to run this now, and this isn't really how it's going to look. We're just going to make a few small changes, but not really that much. Um, so I'll just run this and show you guys what it looks like so far. Um, so yeah, so we're going to customize our week view to make it look a lot more simple. So it looks like the iOS calendar, and then we're going to change the scope to week so that it's uh, a lot more or less cramped, if you know what I mean. And it won't look perfectly like the iOS calendar, but it'll be good enough. So, what I'll do is I'll import QVR week view, import FS calendar, drag this in, drag that in, and then we need to set our delegates, so if I do that now, uh, I don't think week view has a data source, but I know it definitely has a delegate and FS calendar has both a delegate and a data source. So uh, yeah, week view delegate. And now we can set the delegates as self calendar dot delegate equals self uh, calendar dot data source equals self and week view dot data source and delegate equals self. All right, and one more thing before we, uh, oh, we can now set the calendar's uh, scope to dot week 
and you'll see if I run it now it's still gonna have a small issue oh we can just add all of these then just do nothing for all of these because we aren't really going to be doing anything I'm not going to explain how to use KVR weekly because I already have a uh, issue on that I mean not an issue a video on that so we can see um, because we've only set the weak views height as 100 it gets all crammed in so to solve that what we can do is we can set our weak view height as 300 don't worry uh, we don't need any of it right now we can set this as 300 and then we can move this down uh, we can move this down where's the top there it is we can move this down 170 so this will make it a lot more uh, clear to read. So yeah, there we go. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to link this, uh, link these two. So if I select this state, it will show me this state on here. And then I'll also um, in the part after that, I'll we'll start uh, customizing all of these to make them look a lot more like the iOS calendar. Uh, if I just go. Uh, is there a calendar app? Oh, yeah, I saw it. There it is. So we'll just try and make it look like this. So yeah, thanks for watching. And this was part one of how to make a iOS calendar in Swift. See you in a future future part. Bye.